is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 20th of March. We're looking at the Dow at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Down 31 after over 300 point rally yesterday. Use this as a springboard, this inside track propellant zone. And we're going to see later on the day. We'll talk about that in my show coming up at Tiger Technicians Hour and what happens after the Fed speak. The S&P is trading down just a little bit, about three points uh, down. Where did I put, type that? Whoops. Put it over here. The S&P at this particular moment is uh, down 2.3. And uh, had a very nice session yesterday. Actually, the Dow was leading. S&P um, did very well. It's uh, at, So the high today is 5181.69. 51.65. Oops, 51. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't correct that. 51.8926. Oh, isn't that interesting? Um so we, we're in a new, uh, almost at a new all-time high uh, at 51.75 right now, just down a couple of points. The QQQ, I must correct that during the break, the QQQ is um, uh, below the 448.64 high of two weeks ago. It's 438.40, down 14 cents. Um, watching that nine-period moving average yesterday, this time, remember, those nine-period moving average was just about to go negative, and I said, you've got to wait till the end of the day. It's a daily chart, and they all closed higher. So IWM is trading down 73 cents at 21.37. <laughs> Once again, that is looking like that nine-period moving average is going to be a rotational correction if that happens. Let's go to gold. Uh, gold is trading right now. Up uh, five at 2165, holding so well. It's telling us that maybe the dollar is, <laughs> will the dollar hold its gains? Dollar's had a really nice move up 31 ticks at 104.30. Which one's going to give at three o'clock this afternoon? <laughs> we'll be watching that closely. Looking at the bonds, that's really the issue. Bonds up 430 seconds, that's nothing. Those yields are still in the higher range. What's the Fed going to do? They really can't do very much at this particular point. And let's go to crude oil. Crude oil is pulling back. It's down to 